Thank you, Don. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm Jim Rubick. I'm a state certified real estate appraiser. And uh, I work with numbers all day long, too. And statistics. And people have asked me, why are you running for Congress? And the very simple reason is that I took a look at what was happening. And frankly, Barack Obama and Betty Sutton and that whole crew has sold our children and our grandchildren into slavery. And if we don't do something about it very, very soon, we will never be able to do anything about it. In fact, there are some people who think that it's too late already. Now, my positions, people ask me about my positions on things like abortion and Second Amendment, that sort of thing. I believe life begins at conception. As far as the Second Amendment, shall not be infringed means shall not be infringed. My main concern has to do with the economic aspects and those numbers are important. When I was teaching in Union County, there was a fellow there who taught algebra. And he and I had some arguments. He said that a zero was a nothing. He was an algebra teacher. I don't know if he was a Democrat, <laughs> but I've got some numbers I want to throw out to you. First one is two point, <clears throat> excuse me, two point three eight. Anybody know what two point three eight might be? Two point three eight trillion dollars is the amount of money that is anticipated to be brought in by taxes in fiscal year twenty ten. Fourteen point three. 14.3 trillion, the national debt. Okay. There's a few more numbers. 695 billion. Can you comprehend these numbers? Do you, do you understand what these numbers are? How many zeros are following? these numbers, these things that somebody could call a nothing. 695 billion is the amount of money in the president's budget for Social Security in 2010. 453 billion. Now what was interesting about what we saw up here on the screen, that the cuts in Medicare, $500 billion cuts in Medicare are going to pay for these savings. He's only budgeted $453 billion. How is he going to cut $500 billion? That's <laughs> At any rate, the um, the bottom line is that for the essential things, including defense, that are in the budget, $2.6 trillion. And that leaves out everything else, like health and education and all the other stuff. So we're in a deficit position right from the start. Thank you, Jim. Now, are there any uh, questions from the audience? For Sir, in the back, and we just give your name and the community you're from, and uh, you can speak up if you can. Don's on his with the mic. I'll go ahead and ask you. My name is Mike Battaglia. I live in Peninsula, Ohio, and there's a number that the gentleman missed. The number is 30 trillion. That's the number. 30 trillion dollars is the amount of the unfunded mandates that are presently in the ongoing budgets, and they talk about reducing 
the deficit by some form of spending that's almost miraculous because a 30 trillion is the part of the seesaw that could eventually drag the entire system under. Barack Obama is the magic dragon. Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 All right, well, my name is Bob Dorian, Richfield. My question is, what's your plan to get it under control? Oh, How would you get your fellow Republicans in Congress to follow you, or how would you even get the Democrats across the aisle to follow you? I don't know that they will, but my decision is to vote no. If there is a deficit in any of the bills coming across, that's my vote no. Well, well, based on what you just said, any bill that comes across is going to have a deficit. There's yeah. no way we can you know, keep going. So we need to find a way to cut, to be fiscal responsible. So how would you get that message out there to your, you know, your fellow Congress people, your you know, men and women? How would you okay. get them to... I don't know how they are going to react to this. I mean, we, we see what happened with all the talk about how people were going to vote yes, no, whatever on the health bill. But there are certain things that we must spend money on. Congress borrowed from Social Security for the past several decades now. And we must fund Social Security. We owe that to the people that we took the money from. So spending on Social Security, I would say, is a must spend. Spending on Medicare and Medicaid, where people have paid taxes and expect to have that taken care of, we need to meet our obligations. Spending on defense, that's a function of the federal government. We need to meet that. Everything else, I'm sorry, we don't have the money. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much.